Hey guys, just a quick little video. So recently PHP went from seven, I think it was seven or seven went to 7.3. So we just upgraded Studio Web, our core app from 7.1 to 7.3. And we're seeing about a 15% increase in speed, a 15.15% increase in speed. This is significant because from PHP 5.6, it jumped to seven. They skipped six. They, they skipped PHP six for whatever reasons. Yeah, I won't get into it. Anyway, so they went from five, six to seven. When they went to 7.0 PHP, they increased the speed by as much as 50%. Big jump in speed. Big reduction in footprint. And now from 7.0 or 7.1 to 7.3, another 15% increase in speed. At least that's what we're seeing. And this is significant because PHP it got so much bad press for so many years because people still thought we're in PHP 3, which was really uh, a crazy language at that point in time. Anyway, the people in the PHP community are working hard to optimize and to bring PHP to a higher and higher level. And as I said for years, PHP is very, very capable. Facebook is created with PHP, as an example. WordPress.com is created with PHP and blah, 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 blah. As I said in other videos, every language, every language out there, all the modern ones could produce great stuff. But what I like about the PHP community is that it's developing. It's They're continuing to really develop because it's such a huge community. Most dynamic sites are driven by PHP. They're putting a lot of effort into optimizing the core language, which is cool. So you see this huge speed increase at runtime when PHP is running. PHP takes much less RAM and memory and CPU, well, RAM is memory, and CPU than Ruby, than Python. It's much quicker, much quicker, much quicker. I think that um, in terms of web apps, new web app development, I think the two leaders going forward are going to be uh, PHP and Node, PHP and Node. Node.js, JavaScript, I think for the most part. Yes, there's still going to be C Sharp and Java and some Python, Django, some Ruby for sure. But the leaders by far, I think, is going to be Node, PHP for a whole bunch of different reasons. And for me, I look at PHP because it's so big, because it's got such a big market share, they're, they're, they're optimizing it and they're doing what they need to do to keep that language uh, relevant for today. When I decided to do the rewrite on Studio Web after seven years, I could have chosen any framework in any language. I paid the bills. And it came down to Node.js with Express versus PHP Laravel. And I went with PHP Laravel for a bunch of reasons. A, because the previous version of Studio Web was created with PHP. Also B, at the time, uh, I found that the uh, package manager in a node was a little messy, still developing. I'm sure it's much more stable today if it's not 100% stable, but I wanted something very s stable and dependable, and I like PHP Laravel for that particular reason. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So keep your eye on the old PHP. It keeps developing, and it's going to be, It's well, it's going to be. It is the dominant web application language out there. And I think it will continue to be dominant with uh, competing with Node. Although, as I said, Ruby Rails, Python, Python Django, Java, Java Spring, PHP, uh, PHP C Sharp .net, those will all be around for a long time. And then you got a whole bunch of super niche like ColdFusion, etc. But Node, PHP, dominant. And uh, PHP 7.3, 15% faster than uh, PHP 7 or 7.1. That's it for now. Bye-bye.